Well, Erica, South Charlotte police have been running a joint operation with probation and parole officers nearly every month this year to keep tabs on dangerous felons. Officers tell me some of those men violate their parole just days after getting out of jail. We'll get uh, Village Brooks. Officer second. Adam DeGeorge was doing a probation checkup on so Kenneth he... Douglas, a man who's been arrested dozens of times, currently on probation for drug trafficking charges. It's really invaluable. I mean, We'll go out here just to talk to people and we'll end up finding drugs, guns. As soon as we pulled into his neighborhood, some of Douglas's friends tried to drive away. Go ahead and step out of the car real quick. And some made a run for it. What's the problem? Change your back. Okay. Change your back. Police say they caught Douglas with five other people using and possibly selling crack cocaine, heroin, and marijuana. Do you use crack? Do I use car you, yeah. you do? Yeah. Okay. Officers say because of this probation check, they stumbled into a drug den that's been a blight for the community. I'm going to tell you this. We're going to be at this house over and over and over again. Police also found out this motorcycle was recently reported stolen. Parole officers have teamed up with CMPD almost every month this year. Definitely beneficial for the community every time we come out here. Many felons out on parole don't have curfews. And parole officers have to visit the same home several times during these checks. But the message is clear. This is reminding them of the fact that they are still in probation and that they're still being watched. Now, police just obtained a search warrant to thoroughly search that home in South Charlotte for drugs and guns. Now, during that package that just aired, I actually got a text from one of the officers on scene. He told me that so far they've already found $20,000 in cash and counting and also large quantities of cocaine. They're still at that house. Now, several people right now are being detained by police, but so far no one has been placed under arrest just yet. We will let you know how many people are arrested once this joint operation is concluded later tonight. We're live at police headquarters, Jeff Smith, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.